and welcome to my teepee right here behind me. I'm currently in Roxbury, New York. It's about a three to four hour drive just outside of New York City. So this is the perfect Airbnb experience for any of you New York City dwellers who just need an off-grid experience, a chance to disconnect from the busy city life. This is the place for you, trust me. Before you hop into the tour, all the information on this Airbnb, if you want to book it or just learn more, is linked down in the description below. Also, my own Airbnb link is there as well. If you want to save some money and book this place, you save some money, I save some money. It's a win-win for both of us. We both get to travel some more. Uh, it's a good deal. So go ahead and check that out. Without further ado now, let's hop into the TP tour. This is Mina, the owner of Bellfire Farm where the TP is located. Mina and her partner Rich moved from Brooklyn about five years ago along with their dogs Juno and Scooter to the Catskills where they purchased this huge plot of land. It's worth noting that Bellfire Farm does not just have the teepee, it's actually about 10 acres of land and they're currently also in the process of building a gypsy wagon and a tiny house. But anyways, now onto the teepee. The teepee is actually located in the forest. It's secluded, you can't see here. So when you first get to the property, you'll actually be walking through this gigantic field or park your car in your little farmhouse and walk up past some structures. And you'll see the tiny house, their shower, the outhouse, the firewood, and the gypsy wagon. There is a lot to see here. But for starters, this is the tiny house they are currently building right now. I was also told by Mina and Rich that it's meant for stargazing. So they're installing, you can see right here, a pretty big window right here in the back. And I was out here at night, it's very clear sky. So I'm really excited to come back here when this is completed in just a few months, they told me for some stargazing. Now we're going to continue up the path in the field towards the teepee and you'll come across three more structures right here. The first structure I want to point out is this little shed they made. It's made to house all their firewood you can then go and bring to the teepee. I love the design, this cute little shed. It even has this curved roof up here in the top. I think it's super cool. Now as we continue up the path a little bit more, the next structure we will come to is the solar shower. You can see right here, it was very bright and sunny out the day that I was there, but that was super cool design everything from even a little duck uh, doorknob right there and all the wood inside of here. It's a really awesome and just amazing outdoor showering experience. I'm not sure how many people can say they've showered outdoors like this. We're so used to our comfortable homes. So this is definitely an interesting experience for sure. Now, I'm sure one of the questions you might have had when you clicked on this video is where do I go to the bathroom in a teepee? This is your answer right here. This is the outhouse. I thought the design of this was amazing. I felt like I was watching that movie Shrek when he's in the outhouse. I love the exterior of it. And you look inside here, there's a compost toilet, uh, these two little cute windows right here, the sink, the plants, just everything. A uh, very incredibly well designed on the interior. Absolutely loved it. And you go right outside here, there's actually another sink right here. This is where I washed up at night and just washed my hands and brushed my teeth. There's a little mirror right here. And uh, the sink right here, the water, kind of use these old uh, tins, these old barrels, everything right here um, to create this. Again, really makes you feel kind of an old school outdoors uh, vibe right here. Just perfectly matched to its surroundings. This is one of my favorite buildings of all these structures out here. But now as you go on to the final structure at the top of the field, before we finish off and go towards the teepee, this is the gypsy wagon that everybody's building right here in Bellfire Farm. This should also hopefully be ready in a couple of months and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. Now, what you've all been waiting for, it's time to head to the Bellfire Teepee. Like I mentioned, it's nestled pretty deep here in the forest, in the woods. This is it zoomed all the way out. You can barely even see it from here, but this is a site that will welcome you as you walk up the path from parking your car, from the farmhouse to your teepee. And it's quite large. It's way bigger than I was expecting, but when you get a little bit closer right here to actually open up the door, you know, it's pretty secure. I don't really have any bugs coming at night. You roll up this stick right here and kind of jam it right here in the side, and you can 
step foot into a little hole inside to the teepee. Welcome to the interior of the teepee. I'm sure the first thing you notice is this lovely little chimney, a little kind of fire pit right here in the middle. And actually, as we now look up towards the top of the teepee, you'll see some smoke flaps here at the top. I even think about that. I always knew I was gonna stay in this teepee where the smoke would go. So very smart. I also love the interior design of this teepee. Again, all the candles right here, this kind of sitting and chill out space right here with all these little additives on the shelf over here. Uh, Mina, the host, thought of everything, even kind of these authentic Indian drums. I actually used to play the drums back in the day. So yes, I did have a little bit of a jam out session right here. Now for some of the decorations, a little added amenities. Again, loved all the candles around here. There's some books, some writing utensils, some games, a first aid kit, some more candles down here on this shelf. And we go over here to this other section. This is now more towards the door. There is plenty of firewood for the entire night. Even these cool little postcards that Mina left for you. So you can see exactly if you wanna send a postcard to a family member, just kind of keep that for memorabilia. There's a lamp at night in case you need to leave the TP, and there's plenty of bug spray. I I don't really have much of an issue, but I still suggest using this. Uh, Duffy can't hurt when you go to bed at night. Now for the last little area over here, there's a little mini stove top, some cooking utensils right here, even some drinking water. I was not expecting any of this. And then some stuff to make coffee and tea. They even, again, really thought of everything, even left some tea bags here for you. So you can make some tea up at night or when you're first waking up. Some paper plates up here at the top, a big old bowl. Again, looks pretty legit. Like it would belong in a teepee and then a pot. Last but not least, there are two twin beds like this throughout the teepee. Oh, I loved all the pillows, the wool blankets right here, all the bedding. Again, felt very, very authentic, very Indian. Like I was truly staying in a teepee because I am. And to be honest, I slept like a baby that night that I spent in the teepee. I was very comfortable. Now we're still not done. We're making our way back outside again. There's this very large fire pit area with four different lawn chairs and some log stumps and plenty of space. And there's actually a grill right here as well. So perfect for a small group or a family if you wanna have kind of a barbecue. I at night may have a cute little fire and I had a few beers to myself and just felt very secluded, very peaceful in the woods. The last amenity I'll cover right here is this gigantic hammock right here off to the side behind the fire pit and next to the teepee. It's quite large. I think it can actually easily fit two people. So I had a quick little nap. I also want to note the teepee is actually right next to this long babbling little brook. So it was really peaceful at night sitting next to the fire pit. Actually, even inside the teepee, I fell asleep to the sound of the water. And last but not least, finally, if you go across little babbling brook right here, you'll actually come to this old rusted up car. It's just sitting in the middle of the woods. That was super cool. It's something to visit and point out. That's gonna do it for our TP experience here in the Catskills, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me. And consider subscribing if you still haven't and you're enjoying all these videos. It really, really helps me further along in my channel, my business. I would really, really appreciate it. Also, let me know finally down in the comments what your favorite part of this TP was. For me personally, I really love the chimenea inside the TP. I love just falling asleep and building up a fire every night to the sound of the crackling and the hiss of the fire as I fell asleep every single night. So kind of cheesy, but I loved it. <laughs> Until then, I will see you guys in next week's video. Talk then.